Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm going to start this by saying that my dog, <laughs> my dog got a new toy and the only place we could film this video with good lighting and where we could both sit comfortably next to each other was in our living room. Said dog is running around the house with said new toy that makes that noise. You love your pig. It's a pig. It's so loud. So you'll hear him running around and making that noise. I'm sorry in advance if that bothers you. younger sister I'm the middle child and then I have my little sister and she is not a reader no no she reads one author's books can win am I baby <laughs> she's read all did you read her newest I love no. command so she's read all but Karen's latest and she loves Karen and that's the only no that's not true you like Sandra Bird's stuff Remember when you oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has a select few I'm authors. Picky. She's very picky. One of her favorite books is Short Short um, Bride. Well, that one, but I was going to say The A Bride's Dilemma. <gasps> yeah. Love that one. Yeah, she cool. loves that book. Um, so she has a select few books that she reads. She's a fast reader when she finds something that she likes. It's just trying to find something that she likes. So, I thought that I would take the non-reader of my family. We're all readers when we all, like, they're all readers when they find something that they like. Like, Dad likes to read when he finds stuff. Austin loves Joanne Fluke. Loves She's her a good one, yeah. too. He, he likes a lot of I should start too. reading. <laughs> Mom likes to read when she has time. But I'm, the, like, the actual reader of the family. So, I thought it would be super fun to have my family pick my TBR. So for the month of April, my sister is choosing the books that I'm going to read. She has been tasked to find five books on my shelves for me to read in the month of April. And then uh, she'll probably hop back on, she doesn't know this yet, but I'm telling her now, for my wrap up so she can hear my thoughts when I read the books. So um, I'll have a few other books on my April TBR, just review books that I have to get done that I wasn't able to finish in March. March was a weird month, um, but I'm not showing those in this video. I'm only showing my sister picks my April TBR. Woo! -hoo! Yeah. Do you want to talk for a second or no? I'm Ariana. I'm the youngest of the family. My hobbies include horseback riding on occasion when I have time, singing, um, playing instruments, um. Mm, that's about it because I'm a busy teenage girl living <laughs> my best teenage life going out and doing school and work and on the occasion hanging out with friends. <laughs> <laughs> She's normally super bright and bubbly because the camera loves her and she loves the camera. She likes being in front of it. Model agencies hit me up. I'm open. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you're busy. I can make myself open. <laughs> Alrighty, so you've met my sister, and now we're gonna go up to all my bookshelves. She's going through all of them, and gonna pick five books. Okay. Um, she can pick a series if you want. I'm gonna kind of go over the, the ground. What? All your bookshelves? I only have 2,700. Um, but if she picks a book in a series, if I haven't read the first book in a series, um, I'll read the first book so that I don't go myself off. And if I've already read the book, um, I'll read it again. She's going to film herself. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to chill on the couch and she'll be back and with my five books for April. I leave it in your hands. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey. 
It's me. Okay, I'm going upstairs to her bookshelves. Sorry if you can't see me very well. Um. So this is what we're working with, guys. I don't know if she's ever showed you this. So she has all these and then this bookshelf over here. So I don't know if you can see me. I'm nervous. Okay. Um, she said five, right? I'm afraid to touch anything because <laughs> it's set up like a puzzle in here. Um, okay. What are we feeling? What are we feeling? We're going to pick an author I've never heard of. Oh, I like Tracy Peterson too. I forgot about her. We're going to pick an author I've never heard of. And yeah, hopefully none of these are part of series. Um, so I'm going to go over here. A Bride in the Bargain by Deanne Gist, I think it is. I have to set you down. It's stuck in here like a stinking jigsaw puzzle. A Bride in the Bargain. Ooh, we like that cover. Can you see it? Hopefully it's in focus. Yeah, we'll do that one. That looks like a series. Petticoats. It says Sharpshooter in Petticoats, Wrangler in Petticoats, Doctor in Petticoats. So we're not going to choose those because that seems like a series. And she already said she would have to read the other ones if it was a series. But all of these look like series to me because I don't know happening ooh aiming for love hmm. ooh Colorado it's placed in Colorado I like Colorado by Mary Connelly hmm. we're gonna do that one too okay okay hmm these just they all look like they all look like a uh, series to me, so mm, what well, looks good? Dawn in Ember Wild by Sarah E. Ladd. Mm, this must be based in England. Um, Alicia knows I have a very hard time reading books that are based in England. I think this is based in England, and also I didn't read it right. I'm pretty sure it's based in England. We'll have her read that. So, so far we have A Bride in, in the Bargain, Aiming for Love in Dawn, and Ember, is it Ember Wild or Ember Wildy? Mm, I don't know. Oh, A Bride's Dilemma. Solid book, a solid book. I should make her read it just because I won't. I won't. I wanna do books that she's like, she hasn't read she has a lot of books that she hasn't read so i know she's read wishing on buttercups and blowing on dandelions i think i've read those two they're pretty good because they sound very familiar a distance to grand by regina scott i think alicia likes this author i'm pretty sure she likes all these authors i'm sorry if i'm shaking the camera she likes all these authors but this one looks good I want to do another one. Okay, so these are all different authors. We just need one more from a different author. So, let's see. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to close my eyes, run my hand up and down the, the shelf, and then when my mind tells me to stop, I'm going to stop, and I'm going to choose that book, okay? Stop. Okay. Actually, I. Yep. We already have a Mary Conley. Connolly. Whatever. I'm sorry. I can't hold this. It's kind of heavy. Over the edge. He looks cute. Do you see him? He's cute. Okay. We'll do that one. So, I'll show you what we have. So, we have Over the Edge. We have. Aiming for Love, A Bride in the Bargain, uh, A Distance to Grand, and Dawn in whatever that word is. Let's go take it down to Alicia. 
Okay, I've made it back with the five books <laughs> I've chosen. I'm nervous. You guys I'm saw how hard it was because all the books on her shelf looked like a series because the way she had them set up. I also felt bad for. Oh, I'm sorry. I know where everything goes. Okay. okay. That's a little weird, but okay. The first book, I tried getting five books from five different authors, but it didn't work because the last one I did pick up random. I did the stop thing because it was hard. So the first one is A Distance Too Grand. Okay. Have you read this? I have. It's gonna be a third time. Out of all the uh, books that I haven't read. Uh, I know. I was like, I'm gonna find a book that you haven't read. You probably read all of these. I know you've read it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you might have read all of them. Okay, let's find some. I chose this one because, ow. Um, it looked interesting. <laughs> Yeah, it looks interesting. I don't really read really that, but she's standing on a canyon with an old timey camera. So, how cool is that? Also, Regina reminded me of, um, I don't know, it reminded me of something. So, I just felt compelled to grab this book. So, that's the first one. The second one, pretty sure you read. Dawn. Oh. Dawn, I am embarrassed because I couldn't pronounce this. Ember Wild. Did I say that? Rewatch it. I was like Ember Wildy, Ember Wildy. Because why is there an E at the end of Wild that doesn't need to be there? By Sarah Ladd. Um, you know she's from Indiana? I did it. Hey Sarah, hit us up. We're through for lunch anytime. <laughs> I told them that I don't like reading books that are based in England. Okay, but I do. Yeah, but you do, but I don't. So when I saw English kind of like that, I was like, mm, but then I remembered it's not for me, it's for you. So, Donna. Uh, I'm excited, I love this cover. Yes. I love that, that dress. dress. <laughs> this is the one I'm pretty sure you've read. I have. Aiming for love. I thought she looked like um, a lady Robin Hood. Red Robin Hood. Red Robin. Red Robin. No Robin. Robin. Hood. Robin. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this one looks really interesting. It made me want to read it because it looks cool. Um, also, I said Colorado. Hey, I want to move there. Um, yeah, archery is cool, so I chose that. One. Okay. Um, and this is also the one that I'm pretty sure you read, uh, Over the Edge. I'm pretty sure you read I haven't. I've only read the first one. Really? Yeah. Oh. I said, ooh, he's cute. There's camera footage. <laughs> yeah, I had to zoom in. Nice blue eyes, dark faces. I'll read that one. I don't think they really need to be read in order. So, yeah. Over the Edge. Um, basically, because the side looked cool. Seth. Seth. Okay. Yeah, Wait. I What's the series that I like? Is it by... It's by Karen. Tracy. Um, Tracy. With the Seth? Yeah. It's like brothers who all find wives and they're like hard to love or whatever. Uh, do you remember? Was it a long time ago? Um, one of them like marries a baker or something. I'm pretty sure. It's a Karen. Or are you thinking of... Because their last name is Hamilton. Are you thinking about the three book? It's it's brothers. three books. I don't think they're brothers. He's What's like the one a where rancher. They're like adopted, where they were like that's Karen's the series. train wreck, yeah, that's and then they Karen. had a sister, and yeah, that's adopted. Karen's. Yeah, that's yeah, that Seth one? is one of those. Is it Hamilton? Hamilton's her last name. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that's the one I like. But I'm pretty sure there's one with three brothers, and one is like a nerd or something. Wait, is it the Hamilton one? He's kind of nerdy. Yeah, he yeah. has asthma, but it's not. Asthma! Yeah! <laughs> sorry. If, he has, if you have asthma, that doesn't make you nerd. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, if you have asthma, it doesn't make you nerd. I just remember him having glasses. That also doesn't make you nerd. Forget. Okay, forget <laughs> it. We're moving on. <laughs> the last book. Pretty sure you read this one. Uh, I don't know. I can't okay. remember. Um, a Bride the and Bargain. This was the first one I chose. 
first of all, I said I really like this cover. Getting work done, even in a fancy dress, which I love the dress. Kind of want one of my own. I didn't really read the back. Seems like you didn't read the back for a lot of these. Yeah, I basically just judged on the title and the cover. So you can judge a book by its cover. It's true, I do. I've been talking about this all the time. It's true. Um, she also, this author looks pretty, so I just trust her. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. yeah, this was the book I chose. This was, so I picked this one, then I picked this one, I'm pretty sure, then I picked this one, I'm pretty sure. Wait, they can see it. There's yeah, footage you guys them. know. But okay. these are the five books that I chose for you to read in April. In April, alrighty. Um, so, I'm going to give my thoughts on your choices, okay? Okay. Uh, I have, I've read the first, the first book in the Kincaid okay. Pride series. Um, I don't, I think I was about, like, Rafe or something like that. Anyways, the Kincaids are a huge running line in a lot of Mary's stories. I really enjoy the Kincaid brothers, um, and I really enjoy Seth. 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 So I am excited to read a story, and I think these are considered standalone, so I can read this without needing to read the second book. So works for me. I also said I didn't want to get you one of the series, so you don't have to read all the other books. That's okay. the first one. Uh, a Distance Too Grand by Regina Scott. I love her, but um, this was not her best work. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's okay, but hopefully Third Time's a Charm, and maybe it'll be, like, the best book ever. I don't know. Uh, Donna Emberwild. I'm super excited to read this. Sarah's books have been on my list for a while. Um, I don't know if it's a series or not. I don't think so. But, or it is, but I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, I'll read it. If it doesn't say it's a series, we'll just go with it. Also love the cover. Uh, Aiming for Love by Mary Keneally. Um, Keneally! Yeah, I said her name way wrong. <laughs> um, yeah. That's a choice. I'll read it again. And A Bride in the Bargain by Deanna Gist. Um, I'm excited about it. I don't remember, I feel like years and years and years ago when I first started reading, I might have read it on ebook, but I can't remember. So that's okay. Also, I enjoy the cover. So, uh, Deanna also, can isn't be a she little. Pretty? She is pretty. Mm -hmm. She can be a little um, interesting in her writing, but I'm excited to read it to give it a go. So, overall, I'm in for historical month in April, which is my favorite genre. There's a lot of that on my shelves to choose from. So, uh, some good picks, some iffy picks, and some picks I'm excited about. So, those are the books that I'm going to be reading in April. Thank you, sister, for picking them. Uh, okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> no, you got to give it a second. There you go. But yeah, those are the books that I'm going to be reading in April. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these and what your thoughts were. A lot of them are older picks, um, older releases. So they've been around for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I really enjoy this. You'll be back, I'm sure, for like tags and wrap-ups and maybe more. That's right. I better be out my favorite on this channel. With her spicy chips. I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> And the dog's ready to get out of this cage. So don't forget, you can check out my blog for the love of Christian fiction.com. You can check out my Instagram at for the love of Christian fiction. And all my other links are in the description and box. Like right now. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.